Last year was the worst year ever for safety recalls. More than 50 million vehicles were recalled. That means doing research when shopping for a used car is even more important. Now, tonight, in a special report, News 13's Frank Fraboni tells us how you can make sure the car you're buying is safe. When you turn the key and get behind the wheel, how much do you really know about your car? And is it really safe? I actually purchased it at a used car lot. Travis Lunsford's wife bought this 2001 Honda Civic two years ago, but had no idea the car had a dangerous defect. Several weeks after she got the car, about a week or two, we got a letter in the mail saying that I had a recall on the airbag. 1HG? Yeah, 1HG. We took down the vehicle's identification number, or VIN. HG. Entering it into the federal government's new website, safercar.gov, where you can check a car for recalls for free. There it is, 2001 Honda. The recall for a faulty airbag shows the repair is still incomplete. There are over 38 million cars that are out there registered on the roads that are under safety recall that have not been fixed. Rosemary Shahan is president of California-based Consumers for Auto Reliability and Safety, or CARS. You really need to be on the lookout for recalled cars. She says the dangerous defects are everywhere. If it's under a safety recall, there's only one reason, and that is because it is unsafe. Here's a 2007 Camry. We decided to check ourselves, searching Craigslist for a car. Sticking accelerator pedal. A check of the government's website shows this model had eight different recalls, including an accelerator that can get stuck because of an unsecured floor mat. But without the VIN, there's no way to know whether it's been fixed. Who would have thought that floor mats would be such a big issue? Shahan says that defect claimed multiple lives. It was a floor mat issue that killed the highway patrol officer and his wife and their 13-year-old daughter and his brother-in-law. We found this 96 Chevy Tahoe for sale on the side of the road. TG, I ran the VIN number, and it too had a defect. The windshield wiper motor may fail. According to the government site, the recall was incomplete and hadn't been repaired. Dealers are prohibited from selling or leasing new cars with open safety recalls, but those rules don't apply to used cars, creating a challenge for dealers. It's a very difficult process for us because every day they come out with new recalls. Van Olp owns several new and used car lots, including Autostar of Asheville. He says all of their cars are checked and they never intentionally sell a car with a safety recall. We do a 100 point inspection. His used cars get a thorough inspection as well as a powertrain warranty. We try to stay on top of it. He says consumers should always check for recalls first. Before they purchase the vehicle to make sure that all the recalls are being taken care of. Considering the high number of recalls, good advice according to consumer advocates. Yeah, you definitely want to go and check it out and, and look it up online. To make sure the car you're driving home. It's kind of scary thinking there's a, something wrong with the car. Is safe. In Asheville, Frank Fraboni, News 13. Now the government website, safercar.gov, safercar.gov also has an app so you can check a car's safety rating and recalls right on the lot. If you'd like to check out a car you're thinking about buying, go to WLOS.com and click on news links.